I don't know if Green Lake is the Nortons or the Nortons are Green Lake. Spent my early years right at the marina. We lived just a block from what would be called Norton's Dock. The house right across the street is where I grew up. And this used to be all boat houses along here. I'd wake up in the morning barefoot and I'd just walk around with a little fishing pole. But this was a fisherman's mecca. This is the premier lake trout lake of Wisconsin inland waters. So the fishing is um, just pretty fantastic. My father was a lifelong fishing guide and his father was and his father was. He's in the Fishing Hall of Fame. He was a promoter a, and I just followed his footsteps. I kind of grew up at, at Norton's Dock, the marina and basically spent all my childhood there. We were all raised to do that. That's all we ever did. <laughs> it's almost in our blood. Trust me, from the time we were little kids, we fished every stream around here. We were in every nook and corner of the lake. Joe got the glory job, you know, that's the mail boy. But, but we all got to ride on, uh, on the engine compartments. The driver literally drove you up to the mailbox. You had about that much time to get the mail out, get the new mail in and slam it. And the boat would then be back up for just a second and then it would be wide open to the next pier, even if the pier was only 100 yards away. You'll notice me standing in a hatch or sitting on the deck of a Chris Craft. The Chris Craft that is in these pictures is now restored and is this boat right here that is one of the featured Chris Crafts in the world. By the time I was six or eight years old, I was already building toy boats. Wooden boats fascinated me. They were, the marina uh, was a Chris Craft dealership and I wanted to be part, I wanted to work on the boats, I wanted to do everything. From there on, it just, it just grew. I was a boat builder at, I don't know, 13 or 14 years old. Not only did I have my own business, but some of my stuff was winning championships and then winning world championships. And I had a season where I very definitely was the fastest boat in the world. It didn't seem like a big deal, you know, it was just work and we were uh, just chopping along, doing what we could. Norton Boat Works, I'm here to help. This particular photo is a boat that uh, when Jeff first bought the company, we went out to Northwest Iowa. We found a, a, a storage building with all kinds of wooden boats. So we bought the ones that we thought were rare. And this was one of the boats that is this boat right here. It's really cool. This boat was, was done for. And um, it's, now, it's now a piece of art. But it, it took us a year and a half to do this boat. And uh, but we're very happy with the way it turned out. This boat was done 10 years ago and nothing has been done to it since. The sound, you know, when you start that engine and it's going through those pipes. And I mean, that, that draws anybody in, you know. The, the ride, uh, the water splashing, you know, from, from the sides and people putting their hand out in the, in the water and they're sitting in the back seat. And, you know, an old boat, it just, it just draws people in. You know, it's fun. You know, um, you know, people in town that you know or don't know and people are uh, from around here and, and all over the world are stopping in just to come in and look and they're, they're just like, this is, you know, this is art. People continually, and I fight this one, people continually try to call me an artist. And 
I, I am the farthest thing from an artist that you could possibly imagine. I can hardly write, and I certainly can't draw anything. Joe is an artist. Everyone who kind of works here is, a, is an artist. And it's a craft that if Joe closed, you know, there's not that many left in the United States that do what we can do. But it, it takes about 14 coats to do it. And you have to sand the boat like this, every single coat, the whole boat. Very labor and time consuming. My arms are worn out, my hands are worn out, but that doesn't mean I've stopped building them. There's a young man now that is sort of my hands. I sort of lean over the side of the boat and tell him, you know, do this, do that. This particular occupation or talent or whatever it might be um, has to be passed on. It's not taught in high school. You know, woodworking is taught, but the artistry of working on a boat, you have to, to do hands-on. Because the boats are gonna be here long after we're gone. You know, they're, they're gonna be here, and someone's gonna have to work on them. This was yesterday, about a 12-year-old boy caught a 11-pound uh, lake trout. He was really excited about that. He couldn't even sleep the night before that he was gonna get, his grandpa was taking him fishing, you know. So this will be a memory for this young guy. You know, I'm 68 and I'd almost rather not, I wouldn't wanna be anywhere else. Half of the reason people are coming here is because we are Green Lake. We are different, we are very proud of what we have. Why would you ever leave? Why would you I don't want to go any other place. It's all here. We were gifted the taking care of the lake. I mean, it, it still carries on today. We're still at it. So some days it doesn't take too long to get a bite, but um, some days you have to wait a little bit. Patience and perseverance. <laughs>